Hello everybody and welcome to another video on my channel. I'm Tom Rouse. Thank you for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe if you are a Wolves fan and you're interested in goings on at the club. And the reason I'm making a video today is because there have been two tweets that have gone out in the last 10-15 minutes or so from Pat Murphy who works at the BBC and Tim Spears at the Express and Star pretty much simultaneously saying that there is expected to be an announcement tomorrow about the manager situation. Now we've known for a couple of weeks that Paul Lambert has effectively been sacked. The news first came out a couple of weeks ago where there'd been a sit-down meeting between Lambert and Jeff Shee. They'd gone through the season and there was reportedly a falling out between the two of them about the transfer policy. Now over the last couple of weeks there have been, Ita Karanka has been linked with us, but more recently it's been Nuno Espirito Santo, who is the former Porto manager, who left at the end of last season, sacked the fans, though, of Porto were supportive of him. I've just seen a poll where 70% of their fans disagreed with the sacking of him. So that suggests that he perhaps did quite a good job there. He's also at Valencia a couple of years ago and did a good job as well at the Portuguese side of Rio Ave, getting them to qualify for the Europa League. The other piece of news or the other piece of gossip or rumour is that all of the backroom staff are going to be cleared out, which is perhaps why this... Saga has gone on for a little bit longer than it probably could have done if it had just been Lambert to be got rid of, but it seems as if everybody, Tony Daly, Pat Mountain, all of the backroom staff that have been there for so long, the cosy club, are all going to be moved on, which I don't know whether that would be a good idea in the long run. Although, saying that, Fosun have had a year now to look at the situation at the club and to work out who they want to keep and who they want to move on and perhaps somebody like Rob Edwards might stay. Kevin Thelwell as well, whether he will move on. Jeff Shee is reported to be moving up to become the chief executive at the club or at least having a more hands-on role in the day-to-day -day running of the club because Fosun over the last year have not had anybody here on a day-to-day -day basis. They've had Laurie Dalrymple who's had some sort of impact. So it's going to be an interesting couple of weeks. There have been various transfer rumours which have been debunked by the Express and Star. I, th I expect now over the next couple of weeks, once we get the new manager in, we'll see who he's going to bring in and how much of an impact George Mendes is going to have. Some Wolves fans have been comparing this appointment to the, Walter Zenger. I don't think you can. I think the, the only similarities that the two have is that they're both goalkeepers and that they're both George Mendes' clients. However, Nuno Espirito Santo seems to be a more qualified manager. He's been at two top European clubs, a little bit younger, whereas Zenga had been pretty much everywhere. He'd had 15 clubs in 18 years. So I think we've got somebody who has got potential, has got pedigree, who has played and had managed at some top clubs already in his career and hopefully he'll be able to utilise his contacts and utilise um, Mendes in a way that is going to progress our club. But I also understand that it's a risk and lots of Wolves fans are not happy with it. I do think that Wolves needed a little bit of a shake-up. You know, even having this takeover, we've still got the same people in the same jobs and the same scouts and the same coaches. It needed a revamp. Expectations for next season are going to be very difficult because should we now expect to be challenged at the top of the league because we're going to have a good manager? Or are we going to have to have another transitional season where we finish 10th or something and show a little bit of progress from last year? I'm feeling quite positive at the moment. I think once the transfer window opens and players start coming and going, then it will be a little bit more obvious as to what is going to happen at next season. Let me know what you think in the comments section down below. Are you feeling positive or are you feeling dread and you want to go and scream into a bin because we are just becoming another circus like Leeds used to be. And don't forget, if you've enjoyed this video, then like it and subscribe to the channel because there's loads more Wolves content. You can watch my video from yesterday where I looked at my favourite Wolves goals. Not necessarily the best, but my favourite. I uh, hope you enjoyed this video and let me know what you think. Bye-bye.